My family, Samantha Markle, Grant, or Rasmussen, is on X, formerly called Twitter, basically creating conspiracy theories about Harry and Meghan and their children, Archie and Lilibet Diana. My family, I have never ever seen someone so bitter, so, so bitter, because my family, Megan, wants nothing to do with her. You know, I feel like when Samantha found out that Harry and Megan were dating and that then they were going to get married, I feel like she thought, you know what? This is my chance. I am going to become a millionaire. I'm going to be rich, super, super rich. I mean, I mean my family, when Megan would not take her phone calls as she tried contacting Megan as she has said in her court statements of how she tried to call Megan when Megan was in Canada with Doria whereby after it was announced that Harry and Megan were dating some mother tried to call Megan and Megan would not take her phone call and ever since then my family, she has been so, so bitter because my family, Megan, wants nothing to do with her. She thought, you know what? She'll become a millionaire overnight. That's what she thought. She thought because my family of her, of her being, you know, Megan's half-sister, that someone should become rich. And when she saw that Megan wanted nothing to do with her. My family, she was angry, pissed off, and began lying to the UK tabloid press about Megan. Remember, from what we know, UK media were looking for lies about Megan. Anyone who would say anything negative about Megan, that is what they were looking for because my family, if it's that, they search everywhere for that about Megan and they found nothing. They found nothing. And they began offering people money to lie about Megan. People like Simon Rex, who are offered up to $70,000 to lie that he had slept with Megan Markle. Thankfully, he told the world what happened and he rejected that money. However, there are those like Samantha Markle, those like Thomas Markle Jr. My family took money from the UK tablet press to lie about Megan, to spread lies about Megan, my family, and they continue to do so. Ever since they found out that Megan was dating Prince Harry. I want to quote even Thomas Marco Jr.'s words when he found out that Meghan was dating Prince Harry. He said, and I quote, that Meghan should have done charity on them. Someone, a fully grown person, wants Meghan to work and then pay his bills. Just like Samantha Markle also wants the same thing. For my family, for Samantha Markle or Grant Rasmussen, whatever name she goes by, for her, it is much more than just money. It is jealousy. It is jealousy and also that jealousy has grown into hatred. Because my family, don't forget this. Even her own daughter, Noel Rasmussen, who accused Samantha of my family, you know, hurting her, of abusing her. Her own daughter, Noel Rasmussen, accused Samantha of abusing her, of hurting her. Her own daughter said that Samantha was jealous, envious of Megan because she herself would have wanted to have the life that Megan had. And she hates that Megan has what she needs. 
She hates that Megan lives in an amazing home, is married to a good man, has beautiful kids. Samantha does not like that one bit. And also that Megan has money. Samantha can't stand also that Megan is a duchess. She can't stand seeing that. She just can't stand in my family. And my family, she shows her bitterness. And my family, at being, by being one of the biggest trolls, trolling Megan online. My family, please kindly, don't forget this. Even in the Harry and Megan documentary. Bowsy Christopher, the founder of Boat Sentinel. My family, he said, based on their research, they found out that Samantha was one of the biggest trolls who are trolling Meghan Markle. He, she was one of the trolls trolling Meghan. Because of envy, Samantha's own daughter, Ashley, who is close to Megan, who is in Megan's life, who is a part of Megan's life, my family, Ashley. My family, she said, oh, Samantha, there are people you just can't reason with. Samantha is so, so full of jealousy and hate for Megan Markle. The my family, that she would much rather never ever speak to her own children. But my family, but troll Megan online. Because that is the life she wanted. You know? A good life. A life of being a millionaire. A life of having money in my family. A life of having money. Being rich. Having a good man by her side. That's what Samantha would have wanted. But that is not what she has. That's not what she has. And that's why she's online spreading lies about Meghan Markle. My family, here is what she, you know, has been up to. Now my family, there is this account on X, formerly called Twitter, my family, called Sami's, called Sami's Anti-Woke Water Cooler. Some people have said that it is Samantha Markle's account on X, formerly called Twitter, my family. That's what people have been saying, that it is Samantha's account. You know? It's called Sammy's Anti-Woke Water Cooler. My family, here is what they have been up to. Now, my family, apparently, they have been spreading conspiracy theories. You know? That Prince Harry, his father, is not Charles. That Harry's father is Major James Hewitt, my family. This lies that my family have been going on for quite a very, very long time. For many, many years right now, my family. Even Harry addressed this in court as part of his witness statement, my family. As part of Harry's witness statements, my family. And my family, so first of all, here is what Samantha has been saying, my family. You know, allow me to read you some posts from, you know, Samantha Markle's alleged account on X, formerly called Twitter, my family. Here is what she has been saying. And I quote. So, if James Hewitt is Harry's father, then there would be no Duchess of Sussex title either, right? I want to repeat that, my family. I want to repeat that, please. I want to repeat what, you know, basically, basically they are saying on X. So, if James Hewitt is Harry's father, then there would be no Duchess of Sussex title either, right? My family, she is saying this stuff because of my family once again. Some tablets have continued to spread these conspiracy theories, lying about Harry's paternity. 
my family. Do you see the first thing that she has in her family? The first thing. Her bitterness is that Megan is the Duchess of Sussex. That Megan has a title. That's the first thing you can see from her bitterness. That Megan has a good life. That Megan is a millionaire. That Megan lives in California, in Montecito. That Megan is thriving. You know? Don't forget also that Thomas Marco Jr. himself, also, someone who throws Megan Markle, he himself, he said that Samantha has always been jealous of Megan. Always. He himself said that. Samantha has always been jealous of Megan. My family, whatever good thing that Megan has in her life, Samantha just can't stand it. She just can't stand it when one bit my family. She just can't stand it. That Megan has good things in life. She is a millionaire. She's rich. Megan has an amazing husband. Megan is the Duchess of Sussex, my family. She also can't stand that. Megan's kids are Prince Archie, Princess Lilibet Diana. Samantha also can't be able to stand that. She just can't, my family. And it's all because of her jealousy. Her jealousy towards Megan. My family. And also, don't forget this, that next month on November, Megan and Samantha's lawyers will be in court once again. They'll be in court once again, my family. Whereby Megan, through her lawyers, are trying to get this case dismissed once and for all. That's what they are trying to do. Get this case dismissed once and for all, my family. Whereby Samantha has, you know, basically... Is trying to get up to $70,000 from Megan. Whereby she accused Megan of lying about her upbringing. Whereby she said that my family, she, Samantha Markle, was the one who raised Megan Markle. And that Samantha is upset because Megan said, you know what? You know, this person I, who I barely know. This person who I barely even know. That's how Megan refers to Samantha Markle. You know, when Megan was speaking to her father, Thomas Markle, she would tell Thomas Markle, you know what? Your other daughter, whom I barely know. Now, Samantha is bitter because Megan basically refuses to acknowledge Samantha as even her half-sister, my family. Megan refuses that. Your other daughter, whom I barely even know. I don't know her. <laughs> you know, my family, I'm happy because I just enjoy how Megan deals with people who troll her, with people who abuse her, who lose me, Megan Mark on my family. Zero tolerance, my family. You are out of her life. She won't allow people who are toxic in her life. You know, and I love how Megan has dealt with those who have been toxic to her life. She simply wants nothing to do with them. Harry said in his memoir's pair, when Megan found out that Thomas Markle had given Megan's letter to Daily Mail, my family, Harry says, in Harry's own words, I saw Megan. I looked at her. She was grieving the loss of her father. She's done. Megan is done. Zero tolerance for people or individuals who are toxic to her mental health. In my family, you are having those individuals who are toxic going to court to try and get to see Megan. Just so they can try and even see Megan Look at her. Be in the same room as Meghan Markle. That's how desperate they are. My family, Samantha has said that Meghan ain't a good person. So my family, 
Why is it that Samantha want to be want so so badly to be associated with someone, my family, who she says is not a good, you know, person? My family. Why? Because my family basically, what we are seeing is Samantha being so so desperate for Megan to acknowledge Samantha Markle. Even her entire, you know, statement, my family. Even Samantha Marco's statements. Basically, she's desperate for Megan to acknowledge her. For Megan to call her, you know what? She is my half sister. She's desperate to have that. Because only if you are close to Megan Markle, only if you are associated with Megan Markle, only if you are associated with Megan Markle, only then will you be able to make money. Of Megan Markle. And because my family, Megan, wants nothing to do with Samantha. And my family, basically, because of that, Samantha can't make as much money as she would want off of Megan Markle. But already, my family, she has been paid by different media outlets to go on TV and Mock Megan, lie about Megan. She has been paid to do that, my family. Because clearly, that's the only way she earns a living. You know, that's really basically, you know, a way whereby Samantha is able to earn a living, my family. Earn a living. Because clearly, ever since Megan said, you know what? I want nothing to do with you. Samantha has been trying to look for ways to get at Megan. Because Megan established boundaries with her life. And she just can't be able to stand it. And clearly, she has a problem that Megan is the Duchess of Sussex. And she wants Megan to lose, you know, her title. Even for her to for her and Prince Harry, for her and Prince Harry to also get a divorce. Samantha wants that. She wants that so, so badly. Because she can't stand seeing Megan happy. It is those who are miserable. Who wish misery upon others. And my family. That basically is Samantha. She wishes for Megan to be equally as miserable as she is. My family, please kindly don't forget. There have been police reports. Of my family. Basically, Samantha's partner, Mark Phillips. Physically assaulting Samantha. So my family, she lives a miserable life. Her own kids don't even talk, talk to her, my family. Her own kids don't even speak to her. Or have any kind of relationship with Samantha Markle. Samantha, who never even raised her own kids. What is it that nobody even asks themselves this question, my family? If Samantha did not even raise her own kids, how is it possible for her to raise Megan? How? 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 We have seen how UK media have been trying so, so hard to have these toxic individuals, you know, in Megan's life, be a part of Megan's life, my family. From Thomas Markle to Thomas Markle Jr., my family, to Samantha Markle, UK media have tried so hard to force these individuals into Megan's life, to be a part of Megan's life by force. And even right now, they keep trying to push Thomas Markle by force into Megan's life. When are they going to understand that Megan is done with them? That Megan wants nothing to do with her abusers. People who go on TV and call themselves, you know, I'm Megan Markle's father. You know, I want to see Archie and also Lily Bettana. Like how Thomas Markle normally, you know, goes on Good Morning Britain. To be like, I want to see Archie and Lily Bettana. It's so, so cruel. At the same time, while hurling comments full of misogyny towards Megan Markle. And then he thinks that somehow Megan will allow a failed father, Thomas Markle, anywhere 
around her kids, Archie and Lily Petano family. That is not going to happen. Thomas Marco thinks that somehow he can sue and force, you know, to see Archie and Lipedana. My family, that is not going to work. It isn't. It is not going to work, my family. And my family, clearly, I know exactly who are pushing this. It is the UK tablet press, backed by the firm, to put Harry Meghan through so much stress. That is who is behind this, my family. They are the ones who are behind this hounding harassment of Megan in the US, my family. And they're using Thomas Markle, Samantha Markle, and also Thomas Markle Jr. to continue this evil hate campaign against Harry Megan. And my family, it will always fail. It will never ever work. And my family, also, it is so, so sad also that upon reading Harry's memoirs fair, that Charles himself will mock Prince Harry about his, you know, paternity family, about Harry's paternity. My family, here is what Harry said about this my family. And I quote, Pa liked telling stories. And this was one of the best in his repertoire. He'd always end with the bust of philosophizing. If this patient could be so thoroughly convinced of his identity, no less than power, it raised some very big questions indeed. Who could say which of us was sane? Who could be sure that they were not the patient? Hopelessly, Deluded, human by friends and family. Charles would tell Harry, Who knows if I am really the Prince of Wales? Who knows if I'm even your real father? Maybe your real father is in Broadmoor, darling boy. He'd laugh and laugh, though it was a remarkably and funny joke. Given the rumor circulating just then that my actual father was one of mommy's former lovers, Major James Hewitt. One cause of this rumor was Major James Hewitt flaming ginger hair. But another cause was sadism. Tabloid readers were delighted by the idea that the younger child of Prince Charles wasn't the child of Prince Charles. They couldn't get enough of this joke for some reason. Maybe it made them feel better about their lives, that a young prince's life was laughable. Never mind that my mother did not meet Major Hewitt until long after I was born. The story was simply too good to drop. The press rehashed it, embroidered it, and there was even talk that some reporters were seeking my DNA to prove it. My first intimation that after torturing my mother and sending her into hiding, they would soon be coming for me. And my family, they came for Prince Harry, but also they came for the love of Harry's life, Meghan. And my family, Harry says, this so-called joke is not funny. It is not my family. In Harry's also witness statements in court, my family. In Harry's court case against the mirror, Prince Harry did tell us that my family, that it appeared to him that UK media, tabloids, were trying to get Harry kicked off of the royal family. That is what they were trying to do, my family. Kicked off of the line of succession, my family. That is what tablets were trying to do, my family. And no wonder, Samantha Vakul herself is like, you know, so if Harry, is his father is James Hewitt, then that would mean there's no Duchess of 
SAS extension, right? That's the first thing that comes to her mind, my family. Because my family, she can't stand seeing that Megan is a princess. She can't stand seeing that Megan is married to a prince. She can't stand seeing that Megan, my family, lives in an amazing mansion in California. Samantha views that, that Megan's life should have been her life. And that jealousy she has towards Megan has turned into hatred. Just like Prince William. His jealousy towards Harry about the love, you know, attention that Harry always receives. That jealousy has turned into hatred. My family, you know, my family, I firmly believe in this. That for Harry and Megan, the best thing that they can ever do, my family, is to keep and maintain the distance. You know? Have boundaries. And keep the distance from people who are toxic to them and toxic to their mental health. And never allow their kids anywhere near people. They know my family are abusive and toxic. That's what a family believe my family. That Harry and Meghan to keep on protecting their kids and also protecting their own mental health, my family. That is what they need to do. Here you're having Samantha Grant Rasmussen, whatever name she goes by, creating and spreading theories full of conspiracies and lies about Harry. Oh, because my family, she can't stand seeing Megan being a princess. Oh, because she can't stand, you know, living her life. Think that Megan's kids are actually little bit are prince and princess. She just can't stand seeing that one bit. Samantha just cannot stand seeing that one bit. She can't stand that, my family. And no wonder, she keeps trolling Megan online. Because my family, she herself, lives a very, very miserable and happy life. And she wishes misery upon Megan and also upon Prince Harry. But mostly clearly, my family here, the target being Megan. You know? My family, why can't she focus on trying to build a real relationship with her own kids? Why? Why can't Samantha focus on trying to build a real relationship with her own kids? I mean, that's what she needs to do. Instead of creating, you know, conspiracy theories on X about Meghan Markle, why can't she just try and reach out to her kids? Why? Why? Her life clearly is only about clearly just hating on Megan and making money from her hate. Because she can't stand seeing Megan thriving with family. She can't stand seeing Megan happy with her handsome prince, being loved, thriving, and also being a princess. She just can't stand seeing them with family. And what she also can't stand is that Megan, my family, won't even acknowledge Samantha. I think that that is what hurts Samantha even more, my family. Megan refuses to even acknowledge Samantha as her own sister. She says, you know, your other daughter that I barely even know. When speaking about Samantha, my family, I love Megan. I just love Megan. I love Megan. I love Megan 100%. People who are toxic, Megan does not tolerate people who are toxic being in her life, family, being in her life. And my family, I am proud at how Megan protects her mental health, my family. And next month, my family, Megan and Samantha, their lawyers will meet in court, my family. And I hope that this entire case really is just dismissed. So my family, it needs to be. Dismiss my family. This attempts 
at Samantha trying to somehow ruin Megan's life, my family, are doomed to fail. It just will not work, my family. And when Samantha fully loses the, loses the entire case, when Samantha fully loses the entire case, my family, I hope Megan comes for every single penny Samantha has, my family, because she must pay up. She must pay up the court fees for the case and also Megan's lawyers, my family. Samantha must pay up. My family, you know? But my family also, I firmly believe that this case really that Samantha has against Megan is funded by other forces, UK media or the royal family because my family, I don't believe one bit Samantha can have that much money to hire an expensive lawyer without somehow being assisted by the royal family or by the UK tablet press my family who have an agenda of trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's lives. My family, there are other forces funding that case Samantha has. My family, I don't believe my family Samantha can even afford having an expensive lawyer. My family, I just don't believe that one be my family. Everything that is being done, there's someone else who's behind this case, my family. Someone else who has the money and the power to pay for Samantha's expensive lawyer. A lawyer that represented Donald Trump. There's no way Samantha can afford that. Especially even in light of the fact that even Samantha's own lawyer said that this case is weak. The case is weak from Samantha's own lawyer. As they try to somehow get, you know, access to Megan's, you know, texts, you know, through discovery, my family, or even get a deposition of my family. To try to get some kind of more and more information about Megan Markle. And my family, who benefits from that? Tabloids. Their own family. And that is what they're trying so, so hard to achieve. And my family... I hope that they never ever succeed and that this case, my family, is just dropped. Because my family, clearly, this case is about someone who can't accept seeing that Megan is loved, is thriving, and that her kids are prince and princess, my family. Well, Samantha, her own kids don't speak to her. My family. My family, however, Samantha has a platform that is given to her by the UK media who also have an agenda against Meghan Markle. But my family, no matter what they've done, they have failed to destroy Harry Meghan's wedding. Don't forget that Thomas Markle revealed that there was a plot to destroy Harry and Meghan's wedding, my family. Don't, even, don't ever forget that, my family. There was a plot to destroy Harry and Meghan's wedding. And he said his contact at the palace was who? Jason Love. The same Jason Love that issued a statement against Megan in court. So my family, everyone can see the person was behind trying to destroy Harry's life, Harry's happiness. It's always been Prince William who can't stand seeing Harry happy and loved. And my family, no matter what he has done with this constant, you know, attempts at sabotaging Harry and Meghan, my family, William has failed in destroying Harry and Meghan's reputation my family. And also he has failed at destroying Harry and Meghan's marriage. And he'll never ever succeed. Because what God has put together my family, let no man or woman ever separate my family. Ever separate my family. My family, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed my family. Kindly, I like to please kindly help your family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Ripetana, and also Dory Raglan, and all of you members is quite at home. He never wins. Love wins and stay tuned on this video, my family. Well, Samantha Markle is busy creating, you know, lies, theories full of conspiracy, my family, about Megan Markle. Megan keeps on living her life. And Megan keeps on thriving, my family. Megan keeps on thriving. Well, Samantha keeps on being bitter, my family. Samantha will live out the rest of her life just being bitter, you know, because my family, she has lived a miserable life. And my family, 
it's all her fault. It's all her fault. For having so much hate in her heart. Instead of love, she has chosen hate. She can't even reach out to her kids. She can't even, my family, do that. She's more focused on this hate campaign towards Ben and Malcolm. And sadly, my family, if you choose hate in your life, you'll never be happy. You'll never be happy. Ever. Never. The fact is, Megan, he's married to a good man and has amazing kids. Samantha, on the other hand, did not even raise her own kids. Her kids clearly want nothing to do with her. Samantha also lives with someone who, based on police records, is abusive. And no wonder she's so, so bitter that Megan is married to a good man. Megan is the Duchess of Sussex that she has a title in my family. She just can't stand that. And Samantha, no matter how many lies you come up with, you will never be able to destroy Megan's life. Never. 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 You know, why is it that time and time again, it's always those who are miserable who wish misery upon others. But those who are happy, who are full of love, my family are the ones who wish, you know, happiness and more love towards Harry Megan. But those who are miserable, on the other hand, wish misery upon others. My family, if you're sad or unhappy, wish others well, wish others happiness. I can tell you for a fact, that my family, you will be happy. You'll be happy. You'll smile. But if you're bitter, miserable, and you wish that bitterness or misery upon others, my family, you'll forever live, live a life of misery. And sadly, that's the life that Samantha has chosen. A life of misery. And happiness, and coming up with lies about Megan. And being someone who chose Megan for a living. It's a sad life. It's a pretty sad life. It's a pretty, pretty sad life that she has chosen. And my family, I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for her that this is the life that she has chosen. My family, to Megan, I'm happy that you are protecting your kids and also your mental health. Keep doing that, my family. And also to please hurry. Look at how Megan handles, you know, those who are toxic to her mental health. She keeps her distance. My family, to Prince Harry, Charles and William, don't wish you well. Also, I wish that, you know, for Prince Harry also, he also keeps his space, keeps his distance from those who are toxic to his mental health and family. But I'm glad, you know, that right now we can see that Prince Harry Megan are protecting the peace and also protecting their mental health and family. I'm happy about that. And may they continue doing that, my family. My family, kindly stay tuned to this video, my family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Ripetana, and also Dorian Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home, my family. He never wins. Love wins. And, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Also forever. And may God Bless you all my family. Love you all forever. Choose love, not hate. Choose love, not hate. My family. Samantha, choose love, not hate. You need to change your ways. Change your ways. Choose love, not hate. Change your ways. Choose love, not hate. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all forever. And please kindly accept that Megan wants nothing to do with you, Samantha. Accept it and move on. My family loves you, who's there forever, and may God bless you all, my family. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. 
I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.